Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is another episode of a story time, Dad's Family, 18 Children. And this story is about, you know, the daddy of the 18 children, Charlie. This is about his mother. Her name was Mary Ellen. I found this in the book. Some of my cousins are working on getting some more stories. We still need a story of grandma, the one that had the 18 children. So we're hoping that we get some, oh, that the cousins remember their parents talking about her. Somehow we don't have that in this. Here we go with Mary Ellen. She was born October 19th in 1863 in Texas. Her parents was John and Delilah. Mary Ellen died in March of 1947 and she was buried in Box Cemetery. That's in our area where my family's from in Oklahoma. Mary Ellen is the mother of Charles Ambers. That's the middle name of my grandpa with the initial CA. Mary Ellen and her husband Tom lived in the same area. Mary Ellen is described as a short, heavy set woman. Mary Ellen, from the stories told, seems to have, have been quite a character. Her personality seems to have been strong, for that time period was very outspoken. Mary was full of spirit and did not try to hide it. This is some things I did not know. Actually, I'm reading this probably for the first time in a long time. Charlie was very devoted to his mother. And in his mother's later years, Charlie catered to his mother. This may have caused some friction in his own home because he would place his mother's needs above his wife. Oh boy, that can get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh yeah. Mary Ellen used to love to go to town. Whenever someone was going to town, Mary Ellen wanted to go. One day, they were loading the wagon up to make a trip into the town close by, and Mary Ellen decided she wanted to go to buy herself a new hat. So into the wagon she climbed for the trip into town. Mary Ellen also liked to bargain with people. She never paid the price that was being asked and she would bargain with them. Or maybe I'm kin to her, only I don't do that, <laughs> but I do look for bargains. Once they got to town, Mary Ellen climbed out of the wagon and marched herself into the store to find herself a new hat. She entered the store and looked around and finally found, spotted the hat that she wanted. Of course, she asked the sales girl the price of it. She knew she wasn't going to pay that price. So she proceeded to bargain with the girl. Seeing that the girl was not going to lower the price, she told the girl she did not want the hat. The sales girl told her, she was sorry she could not lower the price. Mary Ellen replied, You needn't be sorry. I will just go get one of Tom's hat, cut the brim off, and stick a feather in it. From stories told, Mary Ellen loved to go to church. She was a very religious person. When she would worship and praise the Lord, she would get very happy and show her happiness by jumping up and down. Well, one time, they were having a baptismal service down at the lake. Mary Ellen was standing at the bank on the river, worshiping and praising the Lord, and she started jumping up and down, which caused her hat to go flying off into the water, into the lake. Oh, well, we know how much she set store in her hat. So she yelled to Tom, to stop so he could retrieve her hat. 
it, I don't know, it doesn't say whether he was doing the baptismal, but it makes me think maybe he was. Mary Ellen has been told to have been a good cook and cook a great meal in a matter of minutes. Remember, they didn't have microwaves like we do now. <laughs> and she would have a meal fixed for you and eat before you could get yourself settled in the chair. <laughs> wow. One time, she had fixed lunch and called Tom to come into the house. When he didn't show up at the house, Mary Ellen set out to find him. She found Tom sitting on the ground, leaning up against a tree with his hat pulled down over his face, fast asleep. She pulled his hat off his face and grabbed his ear and told him to wake up and come in the house and eat. Wow, she sounds like a little feisty lady. <laughs> oh, that's my own commentary. After her husband had passed away, Mary Ellen attended a wedding of one of the relatives. She decided she liked the wedding so much that she wanted to get married again herself. According to one story, after she got back from the wedding, she went into town and met a man by the name of Mr. T. I won't say his whole last name. She married him. On the way home in the wagon, she slapped him on the knee and asked, By the way, what you say your name was? Oh my, I love this. Because one of the stories that was told was that she met him at the wedding and decided herself to get married. So there's a conflict of stories in this and on the way home from the wedding she slapped him on the knee and asked him his name so i'm not sure which way it happened regardless which story is correct no one seems to know the first name of mr t mary ellen's second hus husband <laughs> i enjoyed that i hope you did and i hope you'll come back and keep watching this is not my only playlist i have lots of them Lots of them going. I have a glimpse in my life. Be sure and check that out. Also, several others. I'm cooking on here. I'm cooking healthy. Most of the time healthy. Easy. Low calorie. Sometimes. Most of the time. Low cost. Because I've always been that way. And that's the name of my channel. Thrifty Living. So I try to, to live pretty thrifty. Without being cheap. Okay, you guys, I've carried on enough. Please come back and join me every time. I have several different videos already planned for the next few days, and I look forward. Go back in my playlist. There's so much that you might have missed that hopefully you will enjoy. I pray God bless you today. I pray his light shines on you today, that you will feel Jesus in your heart. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. God bless you. If you haven't yet, would you please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I sure would appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. God bless you.